Hi there. This planner is from the collection of Folito Line Planners. It's an undated planner. I've been wanting to create a video about how to set up Folito Line undated digital planner. I know this has been taking too long and I really do want to apologize for that. In this video, I'll walk you through how to quickly set up your Folito Line undated digital planner. Before we delve into it, I'd like to show how Folito Line Undated Planner works. You can just skip this part if you already know it. The benefit of using an Undated Planner is that it can be reused year after year. So you don't have to get a new one every year. Now we're on the yearly calendar page where you can go to weekly planner by clicking on the week numbers here. Also, you can click on the week numbers on the left side of the monthly calendar to get to weekly planner. And to get to daily planner, you can click on the numbers on the top of the uh, monthly calendar. From here, you can jump to weekly planner by clicking on the week numbers here. The mini month on the weekly planner is clickable as well. So basically, you can easily jump between monthly, e weekly, and daily pages. Now I'm going to walk you through how to set up your undated planner. Let's get started with the uh, yearly calendar first. For reference, let's get an online calendar first. You can use any online calendar if you like. I'll just use Google Calendar in this video. Okay, let's set up a 2021 planner for this demo. Let's click here all the way back to January. So I'm gonna just manually write in the dates. Of course, you can use date stickers if you like. They come with your purchase. I'll show you how to use the date stickers in the monthly calendar later on. Okay, now we're done populating the numbers in January. I know many people would just go ahead and manually do this for the rest of the month. Now I'm going to show you a trick that will save you plenty of time. First, let's look at the February 2021 over here first. I need you to look at which number is on the top right cell in February, which is seven. And the next number is obviously eight, right? So what I'm going to do is to divide the numbers in January table into two parts. Now we've got two parts. Here's what you are going to do. Select the left part. Make sure you don't select the red line marker. Copy and paste into January. Sorry, copy and paste into February. We can see number four falls in Tuesday. So we place it over here. Now let's copy and paste the right part. Number one falls in Monday. So we've moved it over here. Keep in mind, you need to delete the dates that a certain month does not have. For example, February only has 28 days. So we're removing these numbers. I'm going to demonstrate a couple more months.
So basically, always look at the top right cell in the next month. That's the reference number we use to divide the basic table, which is January. Oops, I picked up the red line marker as well. Um, okay, let's make the markers shorter in case we accidentally picked it up. I would just leave the marker here until I finish the rest of the month. The marker will just, you know, make sure I won't get it wrong. Now let's set up the monthly calendars. So basically, we'll use the same trick. Let's go to January. You can just write in the dates like we just did for the yearly page before, or use the date stickers. This essential sticker book is a good notes format that comes with your purchase. So let's copy all the day stickers over to the planner, then place them into the calendar one by one.
You may wonder why I select all the remaining stickers after I finish one. Well, for me, I, I just think it's less likely to make a mistake because, you know, I don't want to see after I finish a whole month and I found I missed one number, then I have to start over. Also, I'd like to point out it's best to triple check if you get this right because we are going to use January as the, you know, the res reference table. Okay, um, let's apply the same trick to finish the rest of the month. Okay, let's look at the uh, top right cell in February, which is 7, and the next number is 8, right? Now put a marker here, we'll divide the numbers into two parts. Then select the left part, copy and paste into February. We can see number 4 falls in the Tuesday and we place it over here. Now let's copy and paste the right part. Number one falls in Monday, then move it here, right? Again, I'm going to show you how I do this for a couple more months. We're now working on 2021. No matter which year you are working on, this trick will work. You may wonder why. Well, our calendar follows a certain pattern. Just look at one of the months and look at one of the columns. You'll find the numbers of a particular column are the same no matter which month we are looking at. Well, I'm not going to the details here because this is not a math tutorial. We just need to know this trick was universally. Now let's do the weekly part. Well, unfortunately, I can't find a magic trick for the weeklies. So what we are going to do is to populate the numbers in each week manually. 
I'm going to copy the numbers from the yearly calendar month by month. This will make sure I get the dates right. You can write in dates manually instead of copying and pasting if you like, but keep in mind it's always safe to have the online calendar in hand and triple check if the dates are all correct while you are doing so. You can see there's a mini month up here. You can mark out the dates for each week if you like, or you can just leave it at that. Finally, the daily part. You can see the daily planner is already dated and ready to use, except that the weekday is not specified. If you really need to know which weekday for which day, you can mark it out like so or you can just leave it at that. All right, this is how you can quickly set up your Folito Line Undated Planner. If you don't have one and interested in getting one, you can head to my shop Folito Line on Etsy. Link can be found on description under this video if you don't bother doing all of this to set up an undated planner, feel free to check out my dated planners. I've got a variety of planners. I believe there will be one that works for you.